Pro Football Weekly brings you the fantasy football matchups to exploit and avoid every week. All the guys you should be either starting or sitting. And Arthur, we start with the guys you want to play this week. And we like Jonathan Stewart, the Panthers running back, even though he's splitting carries. Good play this week. He is a nice play. He's coming off his best game, 82 yards on 13 touches. Modest numbers, but a nice injury fill-in. If you're someone like me who's watched Darren McFadden, Fred Jackson, Javid Best all go to the IR, you're happy to have Stewart, particularly this week against the Buccaneers defense. It's been the worst in the league against opposing running backs. Yeah, when he gets a chance, he puts up numbers. It's just whether they'll give him enough opportunities. Eric Decker versus the Vikings this week. Talk about a guy that's been up and down all over the place. I cut him like four weeks ago and now regret it, but we like him against the Vikings. You know, we got to admit, he has been on the other side of uh, this feature a few times. We've, we've recommended avoiding him, but the numbers don't lie. Four touchdowns in the last five games. Clearly Tebow's favorite target going up against a Vikings defense this week that's allowing over two touchdowns each week to opposing wide receivers. Ducker seems like a solid play. Seems like it's one big play every week. You'll take it if it's a touchdown. Jermichael Finley against the Giants. He was supposed to be huge this year. Hasn't maybe disappointed a little bit, but we like him this week. I think when you're talking about Rob Gronkowski, Jimmy Graham, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle. Jermichael Finley has a chance to bounce back in a major way this week. They head up to the Meadowlands to face the Giants. That young linebacking core is really struggling in coverage against a guy like Finley. We saw what happened against Jimmy Graham last week. Finley's going to have a chance to do some work. On our avoid list, Matt Ryan, a guy that we actually said exploit last week, had a good week, but against the Texans, stay away. He's playing really well right now, but a lot of guys are playing really well and then go to Houston and struggle against that revived defense under Wade Phillips. Connor Barwin, four sacks last week. Jonathan Joseph, no one's even throwing on him. Ryan could struggle. If you have better options, you may look that direction. We're saying avoid Roy Hallou and Washington Redskins. You never know what you're going to get with Mike Shanahan. It looks like he's the guy, but who knows? He's coming off the best game of his career, 30 touches, 162 yards, and a touchdown. But New York Jets defense starting to get its mojo back. Hasn't allowed a 100-yard rusher in four of the past five weeks. It might be a week to stay away from Hulu if you have other options. And again, you never know. For maybe this week is the week Terrain gets back involved again. Johnny Knox against the Chiefs coming off a huge game. A couple of big games for him. We say not this week. Now, the one thing that the Kansas City Chiefs, the uh, Bears' Week 13 opponent, is doing well is shutting down opposing wide receivers. Johnny Knox had a really big game last week, but it was one 81-yarder that kind of uh, inflated those numbers a bit. Caleb Haney could struggle against that Chiefs defense defense, you probably have better options than Johnny Knox. Still not sure what you're getting out of that Bears offense with Haney at the helm. Those are the fantasy matchups to exploit and avoid. For the best fantasy football information, check us out at ProFootballWeekly.com.